Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to improve the default elevation map offered by TagView Home and Professional Edition. It's important to know that uh, this also works with the free edition of TagView. So as you can see, the default map, which is Etopo uh, 1 from Nether, is uh, offering um, a nice coverage, but uh, its resolution is quite limited. It's about uh, 1.25 kilometers, and when we zoom on a specific place like Reunion Island, it starts to be blurry uh, quite fast. And we want uh, to replace this uh, default map by something with a higher resolution, namely the SRTM3, which offers a 75 uh, meter resolution. So uh, to do so, we have to go on uh, another uh, web server. So it's easy, you don't have to remember the address, just go in TagView documentation, the Tehran, and look for SM3M3 link here, next to Africa. And uh, it, uh, Rainan has learned in our example is uh, roughly 21 degrees south uh, and 55 east. So let's download 21.55. And the other part is uh, 22 south. Now we are. Let's open this files and the hard drive. Since TagView does not uh, handle zip files directly, uh, we have to unpack them. Yeah, our two files are ready. And now we have to put them in the appropriate folder. So if you go on our hard drive, you should see our program data. If it's not the case, in your options and enable uh, the option to display hidden items. So let's click on program data, tag view, and those folders are already created for us in Terran, SRTM3, and I'm pasting the files. And now we'll launch, launch again tag view. And for the same place, we should start some, uh, seeing something much uh, nicer than before. Let's use the free camera, go around it, and uh, we see the resolution has improved a lot. But we still have strange things like uh, very smooth surfaces. It's because uh, the NASA mission was not uh, without any flow, and because of clouds and mountains, there were some uh, measurement errors, so we can see like holes here. Uh, and holds a bit everywhere, which has been filled by TagView using Etopo 1 data uh, to make it a bit nicer, but it's still not as perfect as we like. So to fix that, we can use the special program used Black Art. Again, it's um, explained here in TagView documentation. Black Art, uh, you have a link to download it and uh, the default parameter to fix our holes. So I have already installed and downloaded Blackheart. Let's open it. And uh, from the file menu, we choose Batchmon Interpolate, SRTM to SRTM. We are going to add our two files, one by one, and enter the parameters which are provided on TagView's website. And submit the data and launch Blackheart. And Blackheart is going to analyze the files, find the holes, and plug them with the data which is uh, matching the surrounding mountains and things like that. Since it's a very low, slow process, uh, we are not going to wait for Blackheart to uh, finish its job. I have already calculated the data. And uh, so let's take the data which are ready. Result. So Blackheart is generating HG, HGX file. Uh, we have to rename them. So let's return in our tag view folder and put our black file. Blackheart files. Remove the old ones and rename uh, them to HGT. There we go. And now let's launch uh, again tag view and we should get a nicer result. You see, it's, it's not 
perfect, like not yet like in real life, but it's much nicer than the default uh, job uh, provided by Taiyu. But now, with there is another uh, better way to uh, even fill those holes, is to go on uh, Jonathan Differenti website, and this guy uh, provides data which has been filtered already. So let's look at Africa, which uh, send us to a um, worldwide coverage map. And I remember it's something, I think it is this cell which interests us. Let's download it. And let's, let's have a look at it. Back the files. And from here we can uh, already see that it's interesting. It looks like uh, there is a special, uh, special ties for the Réunion Island. Let's copy them and uh, replace uh, the ones we have done, uh, we have filtered. And let's try this uh, data now. This is the best quality you can have because it has been plugged uh, manually using different data source from different maps. And, and as you can see, uh, even if you don't know the island, you can guess it's, uh, it's probably that in real life. This is not the maximum resolution that you can display, that you can go down to SRTM1 resolution, which is roughly um, between 10 and 30 meters, depending on how, where you are in the world. Unfortunately, right now, only uh, the USA has, uh, are covered by SRTM maps. So I will provide all the links in the comments of this uh, documentation. And in the next tutorial, we are going to see how to uh, display a VFR texture on the ground. So have a nice 